playing with two shutouts in one No. <laughs> we, uh, we couldn't have pitched any better. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, we had a good many strikeouts in the first game, and knock on wood, we didn't make an error all day, I don't think, and we pitched extremely well. I don't think you can do much better than that. And, and we grinded out some at-bats at the plate and made their pitchers work a little bit, worked some full counts, got some big hits, and uh, got a walk or two out of it. So I was I was proud of the guys today. I think 20 strikeouts in the two games combined. I think I think 14 in the first one with Don and uh, I guess who are Barfield pitched the last. One. Yeah. So that's uh, that's that's pretty good numbers. Yeah, Don pitched extremely well, and then Chris capped it off with another good outing. I don't think he had but a walk or two and. That's impressive pitching and two shutouts back to back and, and the peach belt's pretty impressive. Yep. You guys have had some little stretches of success this year. You've been kind of hesitant to, to say, yeah, I think, you know, things are coming together, but do you feel that way right now? I mean, you guys are playing pretty well and at a good time of the year. I think the main thing that we're, that we've, that we're better at right now is our team chemistry has been good. Our practices have been extremely good and the guys seem to be looking forward to the next game rather than looking forward to what's going to happen this summer or summer school or whatever else might be on their agenda. So, you know, that's unusual for a team at this point in time in the season uh, to be excited to be able to come to the park every day. Yep. Got some offense going in the second in the second game by starting some runners from first base and stealing some bases. You, you're usually a little more, uh, you like to bunt a little more than you do run, but the running paid off for you. Yeah, I thought we bunted a good bit in the first game, had them looking for that, and then in the second game, we mixed it up and stole some bases and kind of stole a few runs there in the, I think about the fifth or the sixth inning there and kind of opened the gap up a little bit. But we're a lot better when we put guys in motion and, and do those type of small ball type things. Yep. Davenport, I think he had six hits today, is that right? He had seven today in the two games. You know, earlier in the year, he's down around 220. I think he's up over 300 now. Just talk about his, his progression. He's swinging the bat pretty well. He is. He's been a catalyst for us, especially today, but in the last two weeks, he's been impressive. He's been knocking in some runs, and he's been scoring a lot more runs. So as long as we can keep him and Reed on in front of Tarkenton and, and Will Chandler to give us a chance to score some runs. Yep. I know you don't ever like to, to, to downplay a series or an opponent, but I imagine coming into this game knowing how they were struggling, you would have been, you've already, you've won this series now. I know it would have been a disappointment not to at least have won the series. Now you have a, a chance for a sweep tomorrow. How big, how big a series was this for you guys? Well, it's another series. I mean, you know, we, we try to win every series and tomorrow we'll come out and try to win the game. We won't talk about, you know, that S word at all. And we'll just come out and do the best we can. and try to mix and match and give our, our guys a chance to win the baseball game tomorrow because tomorrow is a new day and they'll come out ready to play.